People keep telling me that my videos are made with AI. So, I'm gonna make ChatGPT rewrite world history and find out whether artificial intelligence can replace me or not. We'll start with a very simple topic, the fall of Rome. And later on down the video, we'll explore other topics as well. Okay, so this is Bob. Let's see what he can do. Let's start with a simple prompt. Generate me an alternative history timeline regarding the fall of Rome. Fifth century. The survival of Rome. The massive migration of Germanic tribes across the Rhine River is repelled by Roman forces under the leadership of Flavius Stilicho, who has successfully united the Roman army with allied Gothic mercenaries. The Visigothic sack of Rome does not occur. Alaric, leader of the Visigoths, is bought off and settled in Pannonia, modern-day Hungary, as a federate king, swearing allegiance to Rome. Attila the Hun is defeated more decisively at the Battle of the Catalonian Plains due to superior coordination between the Roman forces and their Gothic allies. Emperor Majorian enacts sweeping reforms, successfully reducing corruption and restoring Roman infrastructure. His reign stabilizes the empire. The Vandals fail to sack Rome after being repelled by a reorganized navy. So that was okay, I guess, but let's see how the AI expands the scenario further. The Eastern and Western Roman empires reunite under a joint leadership structure, with the emperor in Constantinople as supreme authority, but a powerful co-emperor in Ravenna overseeing the Western provinces. Justinian's campaigns to reclaim the Western territories never occur, as the Western Empire, now recovering, does not lose Italy or North Africa to barbarian invasions. The plague of Justinian spreads, but causes less devastation in the West due to better Roman infrastructure and health measures. The Roman Empire forms a deeper religious alliance with the Christianized Germanic tribes, leading to a formalized Christian commonwealth of nations. Early Muslim invasions into North Africa and the Levant are pushed back by a strong Roman navy and defense system. The empire retains control over Egypt and North Africa. The Roman Empire adopts significant military reforms, including a greater focus on cavalry and federate units, creating a more flexible and mobile force to meet growing threats. The Battle of Tours sees Roman Franco forces decisively crush an Umayyad invasion into Europe, with Roman legions providing the backbone of the army. This marks the end of Islamic expansion into Western Europe. Okay, okay, enough. If I just animate this entire video, it will be just 30 minutes of how the Roman Empire survived the modern day, and nobody wants to hear that. So I'll say what happens in short. Charlemagne is somehow crowned king of the Romans by the Roman Emperor. The Vikings tried to invade Roman Britain in the 800s. The Romans expanded into Scandinavia and Eastern Europe and integrate tribes into the Christian Commonwealth. In 1270, the Roman Gothic explorers find America. 30 years later, they import gunpowder and technologies from China and become the most advanced army in Europe. By 1400, Rome colonizes North Africa, Greenland and Vinland. I don't know why, but they named it Vinland. The Industrial Revolution begins in the 1500s and they start exploiting North America and taking all of its resources. In 1650, Europe is dominated by the Roman Christian Commonwealth. 1750, the Roman Empire leads the world technologically. And finally, in the year 2000, the Roman Empire united the world and it is the leader of space exploration and technological innovation. So, how did Bob do? I'll say that the scenario was pretty okay, but there are a couple of inconsistencies. Some I already pointed out in the video, but another one is that the AI considers that the Roman Empire keeps prospering until modern day. It doesn't introduce a period of struggle or something of the sort. It's basically just a... Well, the Romans face an opponent and they win, over and over with them discovering everything. Though I'll have to say, Bob was creative at some points, such as the Christian Commonwealth. Even though unrealistic, I have to say that it was a unique idea. But enough of this. Time to answer the age-old question. What if Kanye West led the United States during the Civil War? If you would like to see a video where the Roman Empire actually survives the modern day, check this one out. Or if you are into wacky scenarios, you could watch this one where Belgium is transported 2000 years into the past. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.